All right. I'm still Nick. This is still tutorial eight. This is part two or part B if you prefer uh, numbers or letters. And we're going to get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. We still got the uh, meat and potatoes of the panic event anyway. If this is Nick's garage, I should say get under the hood of a panic event. That's a better pun. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to add another output to the button. And what we're going to do with that output is we're going to target something that I've already got, which you might not have seen. Okay, on pressed, what we're going to do after delay of, oh, let's go two seconds for this one, we are going to target how angry. Now, how angry is... basically what the exact thing is for. I put in the director, this is the director, and this is uh, what would be called the logic director. So I just targeted this guy. So it says, how angry? And he's got anger ranges. Now basically what this does is the anger ranges are based on the amount of health that the uh, players have. Of four players, um, their aggregate health would be 400, even though it can be up to, I think, 100? Yeah. So basically, um, I've got it divided into thirds now. So if they're full health up to 66%, it'll be a certain thing. Anyway, um, out anger. Out anger. Okay. We're taking out anger and we're going to target uh, the director case. Oh, that's a D-man? I gotta rename that. Because I, I named the director D-man. D-man ding. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Anyway, apply. So what we're gonna do is basically pure anger value. How angry targets D-man ding, I think. And let's see. In value. Yes, in value. Okay, apply. So what we're going to do with the case is we're going to name the cases. One, two, and three. To go with uh, with the uh, possible out values from this guy, from how angry there. And the director will just do this thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is the lowest value is going to be one. So we're going to add an output that says, on case one, we're going to target D-man or the director, and we're going to say we're going to do we're going to do something very simple here because the um, force panic event. And we're going to force panic event because that will be that'll make sure like if they just got hit by a boomer or if they just had a panic event That'll make sure a panic event happens when you say force. And on case two, um, actually, I want to spawn a tank for this one. And then for the third one, we'll do an onslaught. So we'll just leave this one as a placeholder. And then we'll add on case three. And we're going to need to double this one. Target entities named uh, the D-man. We'll target D-man. And we're going to force another panic event. And we're going to apply. Then we're going to copy. Or we're going to copy this one and paste it. And I guess we'll delete that one. And we're going to change it. We're going to say scripted panic event. Is that it? Because I also think it might be an onslaught. But you could probably run that with uh, that script. Create new journal, begin script. Hmm. I'm going to say begin script. Now I'm going to pause and find a good script. Okay, well, pulled up the vscript. There's a uh, bunch of decompiled vscripts on the uh, Left 4 Dead Maps forum that you can download. And from there, you could make your own scripts if you want to. But since uh, they were looking for, I believe, this one, CM2 Onslaught, so what we're going to do with that one is, let's see, begin script. And where is it? Yeah, yeah, here we go. With the begin script with 
using the parameter override, c to m for underscore barns underscore on slot. This one's the second one. There's two of them for this one. So what that'll do, now after a delay of, I usually give it a delay of like five seconds, because then the um, let the panic event kick in, and then you run the script with that, and it'll do that. So we got that, and now I'll set up some tanks, I think, which we're just going to use what I'm going to call another logic case. And this is just to mix it up a little bit. Um, we'll call this one tanks, or maybe just tanks without the one. And we don't need these, so we can get rid of these, delete those, and then we can delete these. So then we do this one, and we'll do that, and then we'll say uh, pick random. So there we go, you got your that stuff, and we'll put in some tank spawns. Let's see, maybe one right here. Properties. Uh, we're looking for not a commentary zombie spawner, but maybe an info zombie spawner. Info zombie spawn. Apply. There we go. Offer tank to PZs. That'd be player zombies, and we'll say yes. And then we'll turn him around so he's facing that way, so he'll be more likely to see the survivors when they come around, but he won't see them right away. So there's one. We'll name this one uh, Tank 1. Apply. And we'll make another one just by copying him. And we'll put him. go over here like that move him up a little bit so he doesn't get stuck in the ground change his name he is now tank 2 and let's see flags that's okay yep that's all set oh population that's cool um, I think I can just type in tank, and that'll work. Tank. That would be if you were going to spawn random zombies from it. So we'll we'll do that and see if I can get him to work to properties. And we'll say tank. Apply. And then we'll put in another one. Randomization, I figure, is kind of important. Drag him over here, okay, and hide him behind these wheels. Uh, yeah, right. He'll be chilling right here, so that way they'll open the door, but they won't see him. And then we'll do that. Properties. He's gonna spawn a tank. Call him Tank Three. Apply. And then we go back to this logic case here and we'll center it. And we'll say outputs, add output on case one, uh, tank one, via this input, spawn zombie. So, okay. Yep, that ought to do. We'll copy, paste, turn it tank two, paste, tank three, and then apply. So there you go. Um, Basically, when the gate opens, because of this uh, logic director query and the outer anger value using a logic case, I told you I'd get back to them, then we can have a couple of different things based on the survivor health. So that's, uh, that's it. Different outputs. You got your onslaughts. If they're full health, you got a tank if they're medium health. And if they're low health, they just get a regular little panic event. And that ought to do it. That would be your thing. But Next thing will be how to turn off the onslaught if they have it. All right, it's been fun. So, uh, yeah, on to the next one.